then how did Donovan Mitchell get this team to the playoffs? Uh, Intros, but I'm just wait, no, no, no. Don, Don, listen, you know I love Donovan Mitchell, but this kid has been number one. He's a runaway rookie of the year, and let me tell you something. I, I would put him in. He's exciting. I would put Donovan Mitchell in. I think Donovan Mitchell is exciting. You just made Luka. my point. You just made my point. An all-star is an individual that performs at a high performance. Forget what the team is doing. Doncic, they're 21 and 26. But I agree with you. He's a hell of a player. He should be in. He should be starting. But, but, he, wasn't on, but he wasn't one of your reserves. He wasn't one of my reserves because I know how everybody thinks. <laughs> everybody's going to change. No, no, let me finish because I know how everybody thinks and everybody's changing the rule. But this kid is a hell of a player. He's very exciting, like you said. All-star weekend. We want excitement. We don't want this guy just standing around. He's, you know, he's captured the imagination of, he can of people around the NBA. He, he players play. and he fans and coaches no, no one's debating. No one's debating that. Yeah. But his, his okay, ability, but you penalize him because his team is 21 Because 26. I feel Donovan Mitchell is exciting. I feel what he's done for his team and making them 27 and 22, they would not be that without him. When Gordon Haywood left last year, he played like an all-star. He was exciting. Why can't this guy get rewarded this year? Well, how about this but, team? But why not? Is here. But how about Rudy Gobert? I, I, I had Donovan Gobert Mitchell is a on singular, my... singular player on that I team. I agree with that you on Rudy Gobert, be, too. Right. He's a singular player that cannot be missed on the Utah Jazz. Yes. Gobert is a great player. Impacts the game on both ends, big no, time. But Anthony Go I, I, uh, Rudy, no, Rudy this, Gobert. For me, it's no, Apple. Not on the offensive end like this guy does. Well, not no, not like Mitchell does, but he impacts the game on both both ends. Not enough. I went. I would say this. You might be right, Ernie, but I would say, can Rudy Gobert win a game for you offensively? No. There it is. But he's a hell of a player. Can he win the a game. game for you defensively? Right. Yes, yes. But he's not impacting the game then. All right. So what about Luca? What about Luca? Can Luka, he win a game for you? Yes, he, he thank can, you. Yes, yes, he can. Yes. He can't win 27. Yeah. Oh, he can yes, win 21. Yes, can. That's the yes, difference. He, he can win 21. Can. He can't okay. win 27. But, but, uh, it keeps sounding to me like he's on your ballot, and he's not. You keep going to the well on the Doncic thing. Because I know how you soft people think. Too <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> I know how y'all think. Question I had, too, on San Antonio. Look, I, I yeah, got Tobias down. Yeah, Harris, you yeah. got to give him a shout-out. Yeah, yeah, see, I got, I got down to my last pick, and I was looking at Aldridge, and I'm looking at DeRozan, and I'm looking at Carl Anthony Towns, and I'm, no, looking, I, at, I would, and I'm looking at Tobias Harris. And, I, w I really, I went, I went I really with, pull it for Tobias Harris. I know, I, I had him on mine, and I, over him. I thought uh, if, uh, if anybody would have him, it would be you, Chuckster. I did, too. Uh, well... You were screaming his name yeah, all year. So but the Clippers have been dropping like a rock. <laughs> uh, Dro <laughs> dropping like a rock. Well, so, dropping like a rock. I don't know. 26 yeah, and 22. Yeah, like 26. I know. Still a playoff, playoff team right now, yeah, which Dallas is not. Team. Well, okay. Above 500. Listen, you, you know I'm a big Tobias Harris fan. Yeah. Uh, to me, I'm pulling for him and Chris Middleton. I hope they both make the All-Star team. But at this point, Ernie, it, it, listen, it was, a, it was a guess. Like, I had to take a spur. How did you, and how did you decide? Because you guys differed on this. One of you took Aldridge, one of you took DeRozan. I just put my hand, I put <laughs> tickets in a bowl, closed my eyes, and pulled out DeRozan. And then I, I, when I, what was left was, was Aldridge, and I took that one. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was that it, 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 Cause Ernie, Cause just, they, they, they both impact the team the same way. Yeah. And, and listen, the you got to have one of them. The Spurs, yeah, you got to have one of them. And like I say, I, I don't want to think I'm poo-pooing on Donovan Mitchell. I love Donovan Mitchell, yeah. but... It, it, it's just apples and oranges at this point. Like, I love Doncic, uh, but if they took Mitchell, I would have no gripe at all. It'll be interesting to see what the coaches do on that. And, and, and again, they have that other perspective of preparing for teams like that. And, and sometimes I think it's the coach says, look, I got a game plan against this guy. I, he's, he's an all-star. Or maybe it's what he's done against his team in a couple of meetings during, during the regular season. Or we have some coaches that might not know what they're doing, too. And pick the same. He's, uh, well, first of all, I, I think that's they're listening to all fair. I'm just I mean, saying we listen, do. Sometimes we all know what we uh, do. Some not. of these coaches, they, they just got bad teams. They some good coaches. No, they, I'm, but no, Rick Carlisle is a great coach. No one's saying that. But I mean, they're, they're they're decent team. They're I mean, playing for. Greg Popovich is, is in the conversation with one of three or four greatest coaches ever. No the question. First or six. Right. With a team that probably could have been out of the playoffs. Um, you know what else is interesting? For the first time in a long time, I was thinking about Sacramento Kings for that eight spot. I was thinking about De'Aaron Fox. I was looking at Buddy Not Heel, yet. Uh, almost. Possibly. Not yet. Not almost. Yet. Yeah, we're thinking about it. Sure. Well, they're only two games yeah. out. Yeah, I know. From yeah, but I'm just why, saying. Why De'Aaron Fox though. not yet? And, not because he could work with, well, no, not yet. The only guy that I rewarded for not being in the playoffs, you know, one was obviously LeBron James was already a starter. Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis. Yeah. And the other guys, I was like, well, I will go with the other guys because it's so close between Carl Anthony and, I probably, and Donovan Mitchell and and Luka Doncic, well, I'm going to go with... Which goes to my point. It's the same. It was apples and oranges. I'm going to go with when, rewarding winning. When you, 
Don't say if they're the yeah. same player, which LeBron James is the captain. So don't say no, but I'm saying if you, winning. no, no, forget that. If you're a bad man and you put up numbers and you're an exciting player and you do a lot for your team, maybe your team is not winning or whatever. You're an all star, period. Okay, give me all that numbers, winning. But the Lakers ain't winning, and LeBron's the captain. And I think part and of he had all the votes. Wait, part of it too was was there a point you're trying to make? Yeah, y'all don't know what the hell you're talking about with all this winning. What are you saying about LeBron? You don't take winning in any part of this. Are you saying LeBron shouldn't be in the game? No, I'm not saying that. By your rules, he shouldn't be in the game. You, you know, y'all talking about winning. LeBron's the baddest guy in the game. But yeah, but when winning. he was when he was playing, the no, Lakers weren't winning. Yeah. What? No, no. When no, he no. stopped playing, they start losing. No, no. So I'm not gonna penalize him for them bad dudes. They're twenty and record. They're twenty and fourteen, and now and then they're five and nine. Six games over. They're six, over, they're they're six yeah. games over five hundred when he no. plays. Yeah. Nope. And I think sometimes too, y'all don't know what y'all talking. It's a function. It's a function of. It's a function of your expectations. Hey, is Minnesota living up to expectations? No. 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 So you say, but look at the Clippers and. Look at Tobias Harris. They've yeah. exceeded expectations. I told you. Oh. I, it was, man, at that point, I'm grasping. I, Tobias Harris, I, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry of these. Yeah. My love. <laughs> I love that right there. Uh, Dante Grantham coming for you, Chuck. Dante. Yeah, he's one of the guys got who, uh, who got a vote. Uh, who's he playing for? He's, he's uh, in the OKC, OKC organization, but hasn't played this season. Well, that's the guy who...